Welcome to today's episode of APMD Midday Mentors Series. My name is Chiara, Chiara Mainolfi, and I'm a Business Development Manager at APMD International. With me today is Mart, Mart Rovers. Hello, Mart. Hi, Chiara. Mart works for Interprom, a US-based consulting and training firm specialized in uh, uh, business relationship management, ISO 20000, just to mention a few. Mart is also the US uh, regional ambassador for the BRM Institute. It's therefore that we are going to talk about tips for BRMs to consider after these challenging times are behind us. Mart, the BRM's Institute Body of Knowledge talks about the three BRM's metaphors, connector, orchestrator, and navigator. With these three metaphors in mind, what do you recommend that BRM should consider starting with connector? Excellent. Thank you, Tiara. Um, thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure to be here. And um, you definitely did your homework indeed. Those are the three BRM metaphors, uh, connector, orchestrator, and navigator. Um, connector is obviously the one metaphor that uh, BRMs have been um, focusing on quite a bit in these uh, challenging times. Um, as we, uh, most of us have been uh, asked to uh, work from home, um, there were, there's a decline in face-to-face -face, um, uh, contact, and there were, we also see an increase in online meetings. Uh, the connecting portion um, has become uh, more important than, than ever before. Um, so while we're still in the middle, middle of um, you know, these challenging times, um, a, a few things to consider going forward as far as tips is that some BRMs I've uh, been uh, talking to lately notice that people are shifting away from what used to be an email conversation to uh, online meetings. In other words, um, doing more face-to-face -face and having um, you know, video uh, uh, conferences and making that, uh, that connection that way. Um, BRMs have been very engaged in uh, daily uh, check-ins, uh, reaching out to people, connecting with them, asking, uh, you know, is there anything that uh, we can do for you? What can we do to help you? Um, definitely going forward, something to continue and to uh, continue making that a priority, as in it seems to be very appreciated uh, by those people working remotely, not having that uh, connection that they typically have when they're at the office. Um, some BRMs are actually engaged in the, the coronavirus committees, uh, daily stand-up meetings, have made new connections going forward. Of course, it would be good to continue to nurture those uh, connections and to continue these uh, connections you've made and benefit from those, of course, uh, to the uh, benefit of the organization. Um, some uh, organizations have already allowed or, uh, people to work from home for, for some time. Of course, now it's been uh, going to the extreme, and I have to assume that many lessons learned may surface as in, hey, uh, what does it mean working from home? You know, um, what works, what doesn't work? Um, as far as BRMs connecting with those types of lessons learned as in, hey, what can we do and learn from going forward if, you know, we're going to continue to work from home? Of course, not in these uh, massive numbers. Um, Definitely staying connected internally, externally uh, is something that um, I already touched on. Continue to nurture these connections that you have or have made, these are, that are you know, the new ones. Um, also make sure that um, you know, when you make these connections that you share what you learn with, uh, with others, as in don't keep it to yourself. And then last but not least, there are many BRMs that are in a similar situation as you are, and um, there's uh, many opportunities through the BRM Institute to connect with other BRMs and learn from those as far as you know what works, what doesn't work. So definitely a few takeaways, hopefully. Yara. That makes sense to me, Mart, yeah. So how about the second metaphor, orchestrator? What do you recommend here? So orchestrator is the metaphor that focuses on surfacing um, opportunities, new ideas, um, any new uh, initiatives that might be launched uh, because of what the BRMs have noticed, um, start those, uh, initiate those, instigate those, 
Um, so definitely when all this is behind us, I have to assume that BRMs have seen a lot, heard a lot, and um, definitely should take the opportunity to uh, surface all these uh, ideas, suggestions, recommendations, and, uh, initiatives um, that can maybe even lead to reprioritizing uh, existing strategies that may lead to um, pushing maybe um, those strategies that worked. Uh, so for example, one uh, BRM I spoke with uh, mentioned uh, their organization had invested quite a bit in cloud strategies and was um, already uh, well established in those areas and experienced that it was quite smooth for them to uh, shift in this uh, new way of working um, in this, you know, in this, this, uh, these times where, for example, capacity was not a, a huge challenge, uh, where other organizations have been struggling um, that are not as um, uh, engaged in, in, in cloud strategies and had to do a lot of hand-holding, do a lot of uh, manual uh, work where BRMs were actually in a, an operational mode almost and uh, where, the, where there was business uh, continuity um, going on where they were literally helping people setting up laptops where they have, were uh, literally helping them how to install software and how to provide access. So all these business continuity um, initiatives that took place or tasks that had to be done, they were not, not actually part of a, um, uh, a business continuity uh, a formalized uh, process, so to speak. Um, so there's an improvement opportunity that uh, BRMs could, could orchestrate forward same for the security challenges. Um, not every home office is as secure as your um, business office, of course, and you'll see um, I, uh, IT organizations where security teams definitely had a few additional to-dos as far as uh, keeping things uh, secure. Um, so that's another opportunity for uh, BRMs to orchestrate as in, hey, going forward, um, you know, we know people work from home, what can we do to uh, make it a, a secure endeavor? Um, you may have noticed um, some BRMs th that um, some certain business processes uh, didn't work. I mean, going to your office, you have access, let's say, to, uh, to, to printers, to scanners, working from home. Not everybody has a scanner. So how, how can we still do our job if we don't have a scanner at home? And then you'll see uh, certain business processes are almost falling apart. Of course, there's other ways to do this. Uh, there's enough cell phone uh, uh, applications that can help you doing the scanning, but not everybody's aware of those. So that's another one to look into, which business processes uh, definitely can use uh, a little bit of uh, help when it's about uh, if this would ever happen again, God forbid it, it won't. Um, communication is, of course, uh, another um, portion where there's a lot to orchestrate. Did the communication plans work that you had in place? Um, the communication means, you'll see, you know, we like to turn on our, uh, our webcams, but networks are not uh, really prepared or ready for it. Um, our ISP here locally, for example, usually has a 40, 50% utilization. Their threshold is 70%, and now they're dealing with a 95% uh, capacity load. And you know we're all suffering in ways as far as, um, so internally, externally, there is some uh, room for improvement to uh, uh, launch these new initiatives and do a better job in uh, uh, being prepared. And uh, BRM has an opportunity here to orchestrate those and hopefully influence some uh, reprioritization of some uh, initiatives or um, uh, strategies. Yara? Oh, all great ways for a BRM to show values indeed, Mart. Uh, what about the last metaphor, navigator? So as a navigator, the BRM is um, the, the guide, the one that nudges the organization, the people in the organization, their peers, um, to keep them focused, keep focused on strategies, keep them uh, on target, so to speak, um, as in helping them that way. So. There's little to navigate, of course, when um, there are no connections, right? If you have no connections, then there's nothing to, to guide for you. So nurturing these connections and, and staying connected, uh, that also puts you in a position to navigate and to guide and to help. So nurturing your network definitely becomes a, a priority um, to put you in that position. Um, 
becoming the best buddy of your CFO or his or her team is another one that I'm thinking of as far as navigating, following the money, right? Um, most organizations have taken a hit. Um, of course, uh, that means our budgets have to be um, re-looked at. Um, you know, how do we spend our money wisely going forward with you know, the, new, um, the changes that we have to consider? Uh, for BRMs, it's important to um, to stay connected uh, with the, the people that have a financial management responsibilities to also put them in the position to uh, help navigating that the organization is, um, you know, uh, making the right decisions as far as uh, how to spend its money, what to spend its money on. I also make, um, I recommend that, make, uh, that BRMs uh, make it an effort to um, beef up on knowledge and when it's about the um the business partners the customers uh, processes uh processes that worked that didn't work uh going forward you know can we improve those um also beefing up on uh, knowledge when it's about it capabilities um you know so not every brm is proficient in business continuity or information security just to mention a few that uh, definitely, uh, you know, in certain organizations worked well, others didn't work well. Um, and not to make it uh, too much of a pitch, but of course, APMG has fantastic exams, um, you know, to help uh, also BRMs uh, when it's about BIS continuity or information security. Uh, I'm thinking, for example, of um, the ISO um, exams that the BRM Institute has. But Mart, if you had to pick one of these recommendations, which one do, do you think uh, is, the, is very, very important? Um, my, it's a personal favorite maybe, um, but I would definitely uh, recommend that BRMs become um, familiar with uh, capabilities around business continuity. Um, I'm thinking in particular uh, those that are captured in the ISO 21301 standard. Um, I had some good news, actually, that not everybody may be aware of. Usually, you have to pay for these standards, but the uh, ANSI organization, ANSI.org, you actually can uh, sign up and get these uh, standards for free, actually. So you can, uh, I definitely recommend doing that just to have those in your back pocket um, to make sure you're uh, familiar with what, what uh, good practices, best practices are around uh, business continuity to put yourself in a better position to be of value when it's about um, you, when your organization is ready to think in terms of what went well, what didn't go too well, what can we do better going forward? Um, because unfortunately, we know um, you know this won't be the last um, crisis. There will unfortunately be other moments in the future where we have to be prepared for something else that comes at us. Um, and as I said, uh, with the help of that guidance provided by the ISO standard, or even if you do it without ISO, business continuity would definitely be uh, an area I recommend BRMs uh, focus on to um, be of more value to the organization. Yeah. Many thanks, Mark. You're very welcome.